Hi, this is a quick video on how to draw a skull. I'm gonna draw in a three-quarter view versus a straight-on view. The first thing I want you to think about is that the skull is made of a circle. That is where all the brains are, so to speak. So I'm going to make um, this back of the skull area that's going to um, be in a three-quarter view, so I'm going to draw another guideline that like divides through that circle and will show that it's the skull is slightly tilted. So here is the end of my circle here, and then this is going to be the three-quarter view. And then from that, I want you to think about that the bottom of this circle is going to be the jaw. So through this circle, I wanna create another curved line that matches that, almost like a football, a uh, basketball, but it has the two lines here. And that is going to be the end of my jaw, the back of my jaw. And so on an angle, I want you to connect the back jaw area <clears throat> and then this will be the skull here, and you can see it starting to take shape. But we now need the other part of our 3D three-quarter view, and I'm going to do another line that connects with my ball. So I have my circle here, and that's my skull, and then from there, I'm going to begin to place where my eyes, nose, and mouth go. And so dividing this in half, I'm going to make a mark, and I'm gonna see how close I can. You can measure, take the tip of your pencil, measure to the top of the ball, and measure, and so I could go a little bit lower there. Okay, perfect. That works out right well, right good. That's about halfway. And so your eye sockets are going to go in almost in, in the middle of this point. And so they're not quite a box. They angle a little bit around the nose. So if you wanna think about lenses of glasses, when you do your second one, it has to be a little more squished or like foreshortened right there. And so you can see the beginning of the shape of the skull that I'm drawing there and with the guidelines. And right below this circle, that is where the bottom of the nose is. And on a skull, a nose kind of looks like an upside down heart, so to speak. And so you can um, get that. And just keep in mind, these are negative spaces and these are holes and not forms themselves. These are, are, um, are negative spaces. So I'm just gonna kind of reinforce that by getting in there. And then from that, because this is rounded and goes around, the mouth goes around. And so that will be the space in between the teeth. And so I have the gums up and here which has bone and down here. And then your no, your chin definitely dips in a little bit here with your, with your face. Um, and then finally the cheekbones come up over around that circle area and come back into the face. When you start with your teeth, what you wanna do is draw the spaces in between your teeth um, getting smaller as they go into the distance and sometimes they angle into the face a little bit. And then you can shape your teeth based on the spaces around your teeth. See how I'm kind of going about that. And then that top jaw follows along the teeth. There we go. And so there's a lot more shading that you can do when you start to add um, the bone here, which is the um, one that protects your eye. And this is the jaw that attaches to 
the, your back of your face. So this is your um, cheekbone here that kind of comes through, okay? And then your jaw actually has a bone, so your teeth don't connect here. That's like the space, that's another negative space in there. So whenever you draw anything, you wanna use your guidelines so that you're drawing things in a three-dimensional form and you're thinking a lot about the structure and how things are made up and created. And that's how you can create something more realistic is by deciding how it's structured.